Well, a powerful new Chinese AI tool is sending a sonic boom across financial markets. The Nasdaq went into freefall, as did stock prices of major tech companies. The app is called DeepSeek, and the company is boasting it was really inexpensive to develop. CTV's Adrian Gobriel on the AI app that's already surpassed ChatGPT in downloads. The next generation of artificial intelligence has sent a very real shockwave through the stock markets. All the assumptions that we've made about how Americans are leading the AI charge have just been blown up by this one single company, this one single product. Enter DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup that was just founded in 2023, which has suddenly taken over the number one spot on the free AI Apple App Store in the United States, beating out ChatGPT. DeepSeek's popularity has skyrocketed since it was released a month ago and has only grown after launching a free assistant last week. The company claims to be powered by an open source model that its researchers say was developed for only $6 million. If accurate, that's significantly less than the billions being spent by rival AI platforms, raising questions about the future of America's AI dominance and the scale of investments seen in the United States from multiple firms. The result has been a major hit to the markets, especially to the tech-heavy Nasdaq. You fear disruption, right? When a disruptor enters a space, uh, it's, it, it, be, it becomes very troublesome for the, uh, the standing players. Last week, OpenAI joined a group of other firms who pledged to invest $500 billion in building AI infrastructure in the U.S. All of that economic theory has now been turned on its ear because now someone can do it for a fraction of the price. Some are now describing this as AI's Sputnik moment, a reference to the satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957 that caught the U.S. off guard. Though it remains to be seen whether data privacy concerns similar to TikTok will ground China's deep seek just as it's beginning to lift off. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.